All right, I got to talk about this. Negative soul ties. Soul ties are created between two individuals through a powerful shared experience, namely sex and or marriage. That's right. We are going to talk about the horizontal mambo. Our modern society has taught us that sex is nothing more than a base, carnal, physical act, but that is not actually accurate. Sex is much more than that. It is tri-dimensional experience, physical, mental, and spiritual. When we give ourselves to another sexually, whether it's casual, one night stand, or otherwise, we are actually forming a bond, aka a soul tie with that person. We are exchanging a bit of our body, our mind, and our soul to that individual. Think about that for a moment. That means even in a casual sexual encounter where we think we are just craving human touch, <laughs> we are deciding to give a part of ourselves to another human and in turn receive a part of them to carry with us. So this is very extremely per um, important for target individuals. Because if you out there, that's another reason why I have been celibate for over three years now. Because what's the sense of me going out there having sex with a perp? You know what I'm saying? Because you already know that they are demonic and they have bad energy on them. So it's best to just basically stay away. I immediately flashed to the Nancy Reagan era slogan, each time you sleep with someone... You also sleep with everyone <laughs> they have ever slept with. And that's nasty. That's just plain old nasty. You know what I'm saying? Every time you sleep with someone, you also sleep with everyone they have slept with. I don't know if y'all remember those, those charts they used to have in the doctor's office. You know how they show that shit. You sleep with one person, you sleep with everybody. Like, you know, trickle down the road. It says, sure, that was meant to be a warning against. Sure, that was meant to be a warning against indiscriminate promiscuity to avoid sexually transmitted diseases. But in a way, that slogan is correct on a number of different levels. In the same way that silly putty can pick up an image from a newsprint, so too does each soul pick up or transfer an imprint of itself upon the soul of a mate. This is not some, this is not some diatribe against sex. Far from it. However, it is an explanation. It is an explanation and warning that our carnal actions do have universal consequences. And see, you understand why I say that this place is fucking hell. You can't even fucking get laid, man, without consequences down this bitch. However, it is an explanation and warning that our carnal actions do have universal consequences. So everything you do, you got to pay for it. And that's why the Bible says you reap what you sow. But of course, of, of course, the preacher don't break that shit down. They don't really, really tell you. They don't elaborate and break it down to you about what do you mean by you reap what you sow? But this is, no, and that's why, you know, when Paul said that those who sow to the flesh reap corruption, you know what I'm saying? So you sow to the spirit, you reap, you know, everlasting life or whatever, you know what I mean? So, man, sometimes, it just, sometimes it's best to just, man, I, and, man, it's crazy, man. It's really, really crazy, man, because you got all these fine women out here. You want to you wanna touch them, you want to lick them, you want to do the thing to them, but, but you don't know who that person even been with. So anyway... Everything has consequences. Many people use sex as a temporary fix, a band-aid to cover up an emotional wound. When the next morning comes and the relationship ends, a residue is left. <laughs> oh my goodness, boy. I, I tell you, I, 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 hope, I hope such and such is listening to this. 
because this just popped up, man. I hope you're listening, girl. Um, when the next morning comes and the relationship ends, a residue is left. Like the glue that is left behind when you remove the band-aid. That residue can cause very negative effects in the lives of one or both of, of the participants. The effects can range from an unfilled longing to the scariest of all events in a one-night stand. So you just never know, man, who you're having sex with when the one night stand. You could be having sex with a damn demon. Um, dreaded catchings of feelings. You know, and also they do witchcraft too with that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you ever know sex is a part of witchcraft too. Uh one night stand, hold up. The the dread the dreaded catching of feelings. Humans are very distinct and complicated animals. Our limbic system is responsible for both the physical sexual response and the release of the chemical compounds that make us feel in love or make us feel love. And that way we are predisposed to link love and sex to a certain degree, which really ain't love. It's just pretty much lust. My father implanted me with a quote that I have remembered and have seen proven true against uh, true again and again throughout my life. The pearl, that pearl of wisdom was men give love for sex. <laughs> Women give sex for love. Ain't that some shit, boy? I'm going to say it one more time. Men give love for sex with, you know, with the thin line between love and hate. He told the baby he loved her just so he can get in the bed with her. And women give sex for love. Women out here thirsty, they looking for love. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to give up the cuckoo just to feel in love. Mind you, that was back in the time period when man and woman were the only two options. So an update may be necessary for the day. But what happens when you end up with a soul tie that keeps you from fulfilling loving for from fulfilling from fully loving anyone else in the future? Or what if you what if you end up with a soul tie who is not able to let go and move on with their life without you? Wow. Whew. Or what if you are married and yet create a soul tie with someone other than your spouse? These would be examples of negative soul ties. They affect your life in negative ways. So I hope, man, this these words right here is resonating upon somebody's ears. You know what I mean? You know, I tell you, people, man, this world is a sinister place. You know what I'm saying? You know, we we thinking that we chilling. You, you know, we was always, especially men, you know, we was always told to, you know, the more women you get down with, the better you are, but really it's not on the real, on the real, on the real. You really, you best off being the damn virgin in this bitch. Holla back. Let me slip my life.